evolution of Despicable Me villains. Vector, who is always dressed in an orange and white tracksuit, is the main antagonist of the first movie, Despicable Main, voiced by Jason Siegel. He is born Victor Perkins, who is the only son of Mr. Perkins, the president of the Bank of Evil, who can be strict, if not overly so, when he thinks that giving in to all his child's desires more than makes up for his lack of support and true parental responsibilities. Vector is extremely clever but also overconfident and arrogant. Vector is already a well-known supervillain with unknown misdeeds by the time this film is released. One of his deeds was the theft of the Great Pyramid of Giza, which affected Gru's pride, and Vector contended with him for control of a shrink ray and eventually the moon. Vector has an excessive liking for cookies. As a result, when the adopted Gru daughters, Agnes, Edith, and Margot, arrive to sell them, he warmly welcomes them into his fortress. Vector also appears to have an affinity for aquatic life, as he keeps an adult great white shark in a big tank in his fortress and employs innovative aquatic-themed weapons like the squid launcher and the piranha gun. Unlike Guru, Vector has no qualms about kidnapping children and taking them as hostages. Even after Gru gives him the moon, he refuses to release Agnes, Edith, and Margot, inciting an angry Gru to enter the fortress and attempt to attack him. The next supervillain in the Despicable Main franchise was a Mexican-accented Eduardo El Macho Perez, voiced by Benjamin Bratt. He was thought to have perished as El Macho after riding a shark into an erupting volcano and dousing himself with 250 pounds of dynamite. But as it happens, he actually staged his demise and went on to open a Mexican restaurant. El Macho has superhuman strength he can easily carry away and destroy a security truck with a single blow. Margot first falls in love with his son Antonio, but eventually Antonio leaves her. He intends to kidnap the majority of Gru's minions in this movie, use a chemical compound called PX-41 that he stole to make them invincible and evil and then deploy the mutated minions to important cities in order to conquer the entire world. Despite Eduardo being ruthless, dangerous, and as the name El Macho implies, very macho, he is also shown as friendly and jovial, as well as that he cares a lot about his pet chicken, El Polito. When provoked, however, he will seek to kill the object of his wrath, as demonstrated when he hunts down Gru and Lucy in Salsa Salsa, and when he fights Gru at his lair. In the 2015 movie Minions, Scarlet Overkill appears as the world's first female supervillain who is bent on becoming the Queen of England and served as the Minions boss before Gru. She is voiced by Sandra Bullock. Scarlet is a clever, funny, and overbearing individual. Many people are motivated to become villains by her story of how she got there. Scarlet enjoys bragging about the amazing devices that her husband, Herb Overkill, has created, like her signature rocket dress. As demonstrated when the bad guys attempt to steal the ruby from her in Villain Khan, she also possesses some martial arts abilities and appears to be proficient in using them quickly. Although she occasionally finds the childish behavior of her minions annoying, when they work for her, she presents herself as a very considerate and caring person toward her allies. Even if it was an accident, she can occasionally be conceitful and insulting when someone makes fun of her or betrays her. She becomes enraged when a young felonious Gru uses his freeze ray to stop her and her husband from stealing the queen's crown at the end of the movie, and he takes the crown instead. In the 2017 movie Despicable Me 3, the next villain is named Balthazar Bratt, voiced by Trey Parker. He is a former child star who turned to a life of villainy after his TV show Evil Bratt got canceled. He is obsessed with 1980s pop culture and uses a giant robot armed with a laser and inflatable bubble gum to exact revenge on Hollywood. Balthazar kidnapped Margot, Edith, and Agnes before putting them up in a high-rise building in Hollywood. This was because he was angry with their father, Gru, for almost foiling his plot. Balthazar, however, was careful not to crush them with his giant robot and left without harming them. He is also a very crafty and manipulative person, as seen by his proficiency with disguise. Examples include dressing down as an overweight jewel inspector to take the Dumont diamond and dressing down as Lucy Wilde to abduct the girls tying up the real Lucy and locking her in a closet. In addition, he is also shown to be highly intelligent, 
as he can construct a variety of 80s-themed weaponry, all of which proved highly effective against both trained soldiers and Gru, formerly one of the world's most dangerous villains. Even without his weapons, he proved himself to be a skilled fighter, as he easily overpowered Lucy and employed dancing in his fight with Gru. In the 2022 movie Minions The Rise of Gru, there appears a notorious team of six supervillains, Vicious Six. Their members include Bell Bottom, voiced by Taraji P. Henson, a blaxploitation themed femme sale villain and the newly appointed leader of the group after Wild Knuckles, who wants to take on the anti villain league. Jean Claude, voiced by Jean Claude Van Damme, a member with a giant mechanical lobster claw for his right arm who speaks in a French accent. Nunchuck, voiced by Lucy Lawless, a nunchuck wielding nun. Svengeance, voiced by Dolph Lundgren, a roller skater. Stronghold, voiced by Danny Trejo, a member with big metal hands. Because of their notoriety, this caused them to be on the AVL's wanted list. The Vicious Six started holding auditions for a new member after they betrayed Wild Knuckles and stole the legendary Zodiac Stone for themselves. Their ultimate objective was to use the powers of the Zodiac Stone to destroy the secret organization and their headquarters because they considered the Avial a threat. Thelonious Guru, a well-known fan of the group, aspires to join the Vicious Six as their sixth member but is made fun of for his youth and small size, leading Bell Bottom to conclude that a child such as Guru cannot be a villain. He then snatches the Zodiac Stone from them and flees their secret lair to refute them. They manage to track down and capture Guru in San Francisco after pursuing him. They successfully reclaim the Zodiac Stone, and then they use its power to transform into some of the Zodiac animals, which increases their power even further. But Gru and the minions overwhelm and defeat them, turning them all into rats in the process. Not long after, the AVL confiscated the Zodiac Stone and arrested the Vicious Six. In the 2024 movie Despicable Me 4, Maxi Milamala appears as the main antagonist, voiced by Will Ferrell. He has a femme fatale girlfriend named Valentina, voiced by Sofia Vergara. In this movie, Maxime escapes from prison and, along with Valentina, is intending on hunting down and taking revenge on Gru and his family.